All right, this is some of the uh, the woes of off-grid living. <laughs> hey, I hope you guys are having a great morning. Uh, I am. Hey, you know what? God is good. <clears throat> Here's the deal. We uh, went out of town for a little bit. Uh, we had some friends watch our house. Um, great people, very appreciative. Uh, and what happened was accidentally the toilet got, um, the handle was not working right. And, well, it got left on and the toilet took down all of our water and then our pump was left on all night. Uh, they didn't know it, and um, it was my fault. I should have warned them about it, and I didn't. And so what happened was is that this actually sprung a leak because I don't know if it was just vibrating. I don't know what happened, but it sprung a leak. And so um, all night, I was, or yesterday, I was trying to get this thing working, and it didn't. And so what well, did work, we had water to the house. Uh, unfortunately, it's still leaking pretty good, and I don't have the parts to fix it. And uh, there's nowhere really close around here to go find parts. So I ordered some online. I'm hoping they'll be here tomorrow and I can actually fix it correctly. But yeah, look, guys, this is the reality of this um, is that if you're going to be out here off grid, you just expect stuff to come up, right? I mean, I tried to rig it up because it was leaking water. I didn't want to leak all over my pump. So I actually put a, uh, a bucket down there and then it froze over uh, because we had it off and it was just a mess. So anyways, guys. Uh, you know what though? Like I always tell you, it's, it's still worth it. I, to me, yeah, this is this is you know it's a bummer. Um, I gotta get this thing warmed up to get it back on. I still gotta fix it because it's still a leak. Uh, but you know what, man? I love it. I love it. This is this is the kind of stuff that fortifies the person, right? I mean, we can always say the easy way out, but nah, not nah, not us. We're gonna keep fighting. So, anyways, guys, uh, advice. Well, you know, make sure your 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 fixtures are. Where they need to be at. Make sure your fixtures aren't leaking or anything like that, and um, you know, turn your water before you go, whatever it may be. So just take those extra precautions um, to take care of your stuff. So, all right, guys, I've rambled on enough. I got to get back to uh, to the hair dryer. <laughs> See you guys. You guys saw what it looks like before uh, the PVC all that stuff got rid of all of it. I don't want to deal with it anymore, so I decided to go with an easier route, uh, which is basically stainless steel, uh, one inch schedule ready PVC nipples. And supply line. And I got my ball valve still kept that there. This riser here is actually going to be for the um, priming it. So I'm going to put uh, a cap on here. Actually, I could probably put, yeah, I'll probably put this back up on there again. Um, it's a little taller than what was before, but that's okay. So if I need to prime it, then I can I can uh, open this up or yeah, open it up now. Throw water in there, close it, put the cap back on there, and then I'm good to go. So I'll, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm on there. But I was done with all the PVC nonsense. <laughs> Not that. I'm talking about the rest of it here. And I was like, I just want to simplify it. So now my water is going to be, or having to repair it if I have to, or replace it, it's going to be a thousand times easier for me. There it is. All done. Uh, yeah, look at this here. So that was the old one. Now, you're probably wondering why I put the gauge up. Here's why. Um, I want to, but the issue is that because this thing vibrates so much, it actually will throw my gauge out of whack. And, and it's like, I've changed this thing a few times and I'm just, I don't want to spend more money on it. Uh, and maybe, I, I mean, I could, if I need to, I can always put a gauge at a hose bib out there somewhere on, and it'll probably do better, but I, I'm just not going to do that anymore. I'm done with that. Uh, but that's it. This is it. Uh, it's a lot better. I think it's a lot better looking. Um, it's going to be a lot more simple for me to work on it if I have to, because these are just union nuts and I'm, I'm good to go. Right. So, Hey, hopefully you found this video helpful. I mean, it's simplified. That's for sure. Hey guys, Hey, have a by the way, happy Good Friday. Uh, may God bless, man. He is, he is risen, right? Take care, guys. Have a good weekend. See ya.